The woman at the center of Donald Trump's criminal trial in New York took the witness stand earlier today. Stormy Daniels, whose real name is Stephanie Clifford, was called to the witness stand. And we've got more now from Michael George. Former President Donald Trump's attorney asked for a mistrial, calling Tuesday's testimony from adult film star Stormy Daniels extraordinarily prejudicial. The judge denied the request, but did agree some things were better left unsaid. Daniels recalled meeting the former president in his hotel suite in Lake Tahoe in 2006. She testified they spoke for two hours, including a mention of Melania Trump. And Daniels said when she came out of the bathroom, the former president was on the bed wearing boxers and a T-shirt. She told the court they ultimately had sex, and she took a cab back to her hotel, telling very few people what had happened. A few things the prosecution has brought out is that he never asked her to keep quiet about this. He never yeah. asked her to keep it from his wife. And these are things that the defense will want to raise later. Trump denies the alleged encounter. The prosecution has to establish the former president had an incentive to cover up these payments to Stormy Daniel, to make the payments and cover it up. And in order to do that, the prosecution has to show that she would have been a compelling figure had she told this story right before the election. On the stand, Daniels detailed the financial arrangement, testifying she signed a contract in exchange for her silence, and the $130,000 payment was late. Earlier, Trump called the criminal trial unfair and said there's no smoking gun. That's what they're trying to get us on, the fact that we call illegal expense, illegal expense. Trump also railed against the judge's gag order on his way into court, calling it unconstitutional, but made no mention of Daniels by name. Michael George, CBS News, New York.